I'm going to get some of the paint laid out first and then move it around for my background and then I'll work on the next layer of the rocks and the vegetation and pull that material up into this. So we're going to do some scraping techniques today, um, do some a little bit of impasto heavy paint. Again, I think this could be interesting. I haven't done this type of series in a while, so I'm going to be really curious to see how it turns out for the water. So I'm going for kind of a warm sky, so I'm going to use some warmer colors up here so I can try and get that glow effect in the background. I think that's a good place to start. The big palette knife will cover a lot of ground in a big hurry. nice wavy action by just moving it through across the surface there. Sometimes I like to challenge myself on the structure that I'm working with then. I have certain parameters that then will challenge you to try something new. Using the corner, I can kind of draw into that surface a little bit more with that. Okay, so that's the first layer. Now I'm going to set up for the second. Whoops. Happy little accident. Whew. It's so weird to paint without music on. <laughs> it's really almost disturbing. So let's try it here. Get the black in first. Just a little bit of that out. There we go. I have no idea if this concept is going to work. I was thinking about it the other day and I wanted to try it. It's been uh, several days since I've been able to get back down in the studio to try this out and see if it's going to work. I think I will. I'm going to add some light in there and help gray it out. It's the worst that can happen. I have to get more canvas and try again. That's the fun of it, is the playtime to play with this stuff none of the others. So I'm gonna try to this size and I'm just gonna draw that up and see what happens. So I may have lost the preliminary video. There's still the learning curve, apparently. Things that I wanted to try and do today, and I've, I've gone back to this concept periodically and I've dropped it because I just never quite get it the way that I want it to look, is a, um, I used to travel once in a while out to the Northwest, Oregon and Washington coastline, and I love the uh, rainforest that's out there on the Olympic Peninsula, Cannon Beach down in Oregon, and some of the other structures with these big rocks that come up and the greenery on them, the water lapping around, and beautiful lush uh, areas up in the Olympic Peninsula. So I've periodically tried to kind of capture that using the techniques that I have, and it's been less than successful most of the time. So, so I'm looking at trying to recreate that feeling. What triggered this was a couple days ago over the weekend, the previous weekend, my uh, family and I were watching a movie called Abomination, 
which was about the abominable snowman. Abominable snowman. It's cold right now. Uh, by the way, it's only 52 degrees in here today, um, but actually that feels kind of balmy because it's usually pretty cold in the studio. <laughs> it's winter out there, uh, but the painting's going to get hot in here. Uh, it sounds ridiculous. We'll edit that out later. So I'm trying to be likable in front of the camera, but I don't know if I succeed. So let's get started and we'll get back to the painting now. Uh, we did the intro on Saturday Paint With Me at this point. Uh, I think I lost the original one, so here is the second intro to it. And I appreciate you sticking with us while I still figure this mess of a technology out. Uh, I'm painting without any kind of music today, which is a little weird. Feels weird uh, because I'm periodically talking about it. Here we go. Let's get back to this. So I'm at the point where some of this is starting to frustrate me, so we're going to end up doing what I do, which is completely start scraping into it and see if we can't find something better to come out of this than I'm seeing right now. Be a little more gestural. I, think I might do a little more scraping. I'm not real happy with what's happening here yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to going into this pretty aggressively in a minute. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it coming on. This has been my favorite. This rubber spatula has been my favorite lately. lately. Some of you are like, what? It was good, what are you doing? Some of you are like, oh thank God, it was ugly. Get rid of it. Um, it's hard to deny our, our nature in life and who we are. This is one of those examples. So, thinking that, that's what that was. I guess this is where the abstract part comes in, huh? challenge today. It's a big challenge today.
this is what's been happening since the last time I recorded and um, definitely didn't go in the direction that I wanted and uh, I turned off the camera I turned some music on and I kind of let loose again um, I really don't know if I met the goal today sometimes it's just really hard to deny your your nature as an artist and I don't know if I think it's good to challenge yourself but um, these are really interesting pieces. I may have to walk away from them very soon. Happening, I did a lot of work in all of it, just overworking it maybe. So we're gonna see a little later how this looks after I have a break. So, but I thought I'd update you real quick and we'll see you a little later. Good morning, it's the day after I painted some paintings yesterday, but I wanna take a look at this real quick. They're really wet, so. I did some different things in it. I started out in one objective and it didn't go that way at all. <laughs> As the thinner paint moves and gathers up pigment from the thicker paint, it could be pretty interesting. I may try to come in and do a satin glaze over the top of that maybe over some of this other stuff too. That'll change the textural quality, the reflective quality of the paint. Here's another one. Same here, I got it just, to, the paint got to be too thick and too much chaos going on for some such a small painting and so I swiped through it with the palette knife. And I think I really like them because I learned some things. And to me it's, a, it's about an experience. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to be able to sell some work <laughs> but visit me at davidaustingallery.com much of my work goes for sale up there if not message me and uh, we can set you up thank you but above all else keep painting and be kind to each other take care